7 Must Know Tips for First-Time Flyers Tips for First-Time Flyers Flying on an airplane for the first time, or the first time in a long while, can be an exciting, life-changing adventure. But it can also be incredibly stressful. You want to head for the gate with the swagger of a seasoned traveler. But that's hard to pull off when you don't know how much it costs to check a bag. Or what to expect when you go through airport security. So how can you deal? Reviewing these tips before takeoff can boost your confidence. Making your trip easier and more worry-free. Best advice for first-time flyers. 1. Check the airline's luggage requirements. It's easy to overpack. But if you do, it could cost you. Before your flight, visit your airline's website to review luggage size and weight restrictions. As well as baggage fees. If your carry-on bag is too bulky, you may have to pay to check it. Likewise, if your checked bag is over a certain size, you may have to pay a higher than usual fee to check it. It's best to avoid these surprises, if possible. 2. Pack essentials in your carry-on. If you're packing anything that's hard to replace, say, prescription medicine, contacts or glasses, or important paperwork, put it in your carry-on bag. This way, you won't be without that item in the rare event your checked bag goes missing. You'll also want to pack some in-flight entertainment, such as your laptop, headphones, and a book or magazine. 3. Arrive at the airport 2 hours early. Catching a plane isn't like catching a bus. It's a much longer process. In fact, the TSA recommends showing up at least 2 hours before takeoff for domestic travel, and 3 hours for international travel. Ultimately, you need to give yourself enough time to get your boarding pass. Check your bags and go through security before your plane starts boarding. Sometimes, that takes 10 minutes. Other times, especially during peak travel times, it can take much longer. It's worth keeping in mind that boarding the plane isn't a free-for-all, either. Airlines typically start boarding passengers 30 minutes before takeoff in groups. Generally, a boarding time will be printed on your ticket. 4. Keep your ID handy. Decades ago, airport security was relatively lax. There was one point where you could just walk up to a gate, whether you were flying or not, whether you had ID or not. Klee says. Nowadays, TSA agents check IDs for passengers over 18. Save time by having your ID card, driver's license or passport handy as soon as you step foot into the airport. You'll need it when checking bags and going through security. And you don't want to hold up the line while rummaging through your wallet. 5. Wear easy to remove shoes. Going through airport security might be the most stressful part of flying. But if you know what to expect, the whole rigmarole can feel much less taxing. Remove your shoes, unless you're 12 and under or 75 and older. Empty the contents of your pockets and remove your hat, belt, jacket, wallet and bulky jewelry. Remove your laptop and liquids from your bag. Send these items. And your carry-on bag. Through an x-ray machine. Walk through a metal detector or a body scanner, or opt for a pat-down. 6. Respect other passengers' space. These days, flights are generally fully booked, and most seats offer limited legroom. This might stress out your fellow flyers, so be sensitive. 7. Have a backup plan ready. Now for a game of, worst case scenario, first time flyer edition. What happens if you miss your flight? First, take a deep breath. If you miss your plane because of unforeseen circumstances, such as a major traffic delay, the airline will often put you on standby for the next flight without charging extra. Just remember that you generally need to notify the airline within a couple of hours of missing your flight to get rebooked for free. If it looks like you'll miss a connecting flight, Check the smartphone app offered by your airline or the screen in the airport to find out which gate your flight departs from, and whether you've actually missed it. If the flight is delayed, 
you may still have a chance to board. But if you miss the connection and the airline was responsible, you can generally also rebook that flight free of charge, and maybe even get some free meal or hotel vouchers for the hassle. The key in both cases, be proactive. Have the airline's customer service phone number handy in case you get stuck in traffic, so you can call as soon as possible. Or if you're already at the airport, go to the customer service desk and asking about rebooking. Missing a flight can be a setback, but it doesn't have to derail your travel plans. If you find this video helpful, please share as much as possible to create awareness. And subscribe to support us.